Hey, what's up? Now I'm going to show you how can you add submenu item in your mobile application. So in the content section, we have plenty of modules that you can add. One of them is submenu. So once you click add to app, it's a screen like this and I'm going to show already added one. For example, let's go to this section. Here, I already added submenu screen and I changed the icon from here. And you can enter the title in different languages. And now, as a new uh, feature, you can also enable or disable the search bar in this application. So once it's done, you just click save and you will have the submenu screen already in your menu. And you will go to add another section. Let's try, for example, custom screen. Okay. So you will click add to app. And once it comes, you can choose like, for example, I will write something random, another random, I will write other things. And here you can see linked to main menu. So once you click to this toggle, you can find other menu screen item. It was, for example, learn Turkish section previously. You can either search or you can find like this. So once I click this and click save, it will be down there in the learn Turkish section. But I'm not going to save this one. I will show already uh, the one that I have done it before. For example, this is an MP3 module and I added several uh, audio on this module and I just uh, linked it to learn Turkish section. If I uh, click this, it will be linked to main menu. So it will be like this, but not like this under a menu. So this is how submenu module works. You can also use this module if you have a lot of content and it's, got, it's going to be tiring if your uh, user have to, you know, scroll down to all this content. So you can make it more uh, uh, in, a, in a really good order. So you can shape your application, you can uh, design your application under different submenus, different categories. So it will be easier for your user to navigate in the application. We will continue sharing these kind of tips.